Hey horror fans, thanks for joining me for this review of The Haunting of Bly Manor. Alright, cast and crew information down below. And uh, let's get off to this IMDb plot to start. After an au pair's tragic death, Henry hires a young American nanny to care for his orphan niece and nephew who reside at Blair Manor with the chef Owen, groundskeeper Jamie, and housekeeper Mrs. Goose. Gross. That goes gross. Anyway, doesn't matter. Um, all right, I, I know I'm running slow here, running super slow here with this series. I, you know, did Haunting Hill a little while back, and and now Bly Manor, and I know I have Midnight Mass to go. So yes, I'm I'm moving slow through my haunting houses of of Netflix here. So you know, you just have to bear with me. So I'm pretty sure uh, many of you might have already seen this. I'll still try to keep it fairly spoiler free since it's sort of new. Uh, but yeah, this this one kind of follows the the hill uh, the haunting of um, Hill House off the tales of that, and um, has some of the same actors in it. Obviously done um, by uh, Mike Flanagan again um, involved in this one. Um, you know, he's kind of got his um, mind entrenched on this and, and, and doing a good job at it, I'll, I'll say that. Um, so, this one, nine, nine episodes. You can get this one in here, nine episodes, um, which is a good amount. I, I You know, nine or ten episodes for, for these things seem to work out well, so it doesn't drag on you too much. Um, and... Uh, but makes you watch a lot of story. I mean, there, there's a lot of the. We watched the first one, Hunt, Haunted Hill. There was a lot of story there, and a lot of back and forth. And, and um, there's just there's a lot of similarities here, but it does have its differences. And um, you know, you're definitely gonna get again another giant house, um, another kind of creepy setting. Um, obviously, it's in you know a, a British English story here. Um, setting in, in over there in that part of the world um, you know this one has some kids involved but not as many as maybe the first one um, but yeah and the, and the story is going to kind of jump around and and that that might you know watching these two that might be one of the secrets here to kind of you know kind of keeping you off pace is, is how these stories kind of um, jump back and forth you know you're in the present then you're going in the past a little bit of the future, so uh, it, it it keeps you, you know, it, it's not one of these series that, that you know, you can kind of watch one and then put it off for a long time and watch another one and put it off for a long time. You, you got to kind of watch this in a, in a, in a range, in a, in a narrow range. You know, obviously if you could binge it all at once, it's probably the best way to do it, but nine episodes might be a little bit hard. Um, to get that all in, in one viewing and they're almost an hour each um, but if you can watch this and if you haven't watched this or watched any of the, the, this one or the previous one and I'm going to guess it's the same for Midnight Mass um, kind of think about you know being able to watch this kind of as close together as you can um, so that you can kind of keep all the puzzle pieces um, together, the the more time you give in between, the more it, it may lead to some confusion. Um, but I think even if you bench it, it still would lead to some confusion. Um, and then when you're watching all kinds of other horror movie <laughs> movies and stuff in between, it just yeah, it, it is what it is. Um, anyway, um, I I think that that's you know frustrating at times, but also part of, of what makes this 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 work and uh, keeping you on your toes. Um, and then, you know, you're going to have your episodes where maybe one character is a little bit more unfocused. Sometimes they'll draw you away from the main character here. It's obviously this au pair here. And um, uh, Danny here. And um, obviously the kids are in play and kids are creepy. Um, and these two kids are definitely creepy, especially... Well, actually, the, the young girl, both the kids do a really good job. The young girl is fabulous here, the little girl. Um, maybe she's not as creepy. The boy is, 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 you get something off with him from, from the start. And, um, 
you know, I'm not going to say call him creepy, but, but, you know, you know, he's more and more stern, more of that boy, you know, there's something wrong there. Um, the little girl, you know, couldn't be nicer, but then, you know, she's going to have her moments where you're like, yeah, there's something going on there as well. Um, so I, I think, you know, the one thing with this one and, and, and I don't want to draw, you know, I keep going back to the, to, to the haunted hill. Um, but I, I think, you know, this one, you know, it's got only two kids. The other one had a whole bunch of kids. Uh, it's a little bit more focused, more focused on, on, on that and the adults. Um, and how this, this old pair has everything to get into it. And she just kind of almost, you know, you can maybe say it's her destiny, but also maybe a little bit of wrong place, wrong time. Um, but, you know, she just kind of gets into the, to it and takes a job that, you know, really wasn't should have been her I mean why is she going to go and do this and you kind of see that played out several times and why is she there and why she stays but she does and she gets what she gets for, for doing so um, but as you're there and as this goes on you're going to just kind of find uh, you know who are the characters that are still alive who are the characters that are not really alive anymore that's an interesting fold in it um, you know when did they maybe die or when did they go at what point in here and how did they go they keep the mystery um now there's this this lake that's sort of like right outside of their house um where uh, a tragic event ha has occurred and uh, that creates uh, you know like you had your main ghost in the, in the haunted hill you have your main ghost here and that's basically this woman that comes from the lake now I'll say uh, what she does, and I'm going to say, I try to keep this spoiler free, but, you know, uh, she's going to make a, a wider appearance later on. Just the way she does is creepy as hell. Um, I guess, what let's just say when she gets your hands on, on you, and then what unfolds after that... Um, you know, it's, it's not a lot going on, but it but it is creepy. I mean, you know, you put put your, your yourself in, in those shoes there, and uh, kind of find yourself at the grip of her. Yeah, that's not good. Um, they do a magically creepy job with that, and uh, that is just terrible. <laughs> um, and in the in the most simplest of ways, like it's not, you know, you know that I love blood and guts, but it's it's. It is just creepy. Like, there's just no, you know, I, I love the blood and guts. I would rather see the blood and guts, but that, that's just creepy. And, and when she gets a grip on you, it's like, huh. Um, anyway, uh, I guess I, I'm, yeah, I'm going to, I'll just leave it at that. Um, but yeah, I guess she, she's the central figure. But again, you're going to see that, that some people are alive and not alive. And then, um, Again, it is family. It is this old pair's kind of stumbled their way onto this family? Um, so there's fi family dynamics at play here. Um, issues that have arised, issues that have played out, issues that have caused some of these things to happen. Um, you'll see, you know, that people that basically died here, you know, they're they're there, they're there for a reason. Um, so you're gonna have that family dynamic again again this one um you know the other the other one was was you know basically the mother father and a bunch of children uh, this one is a a mother um uh, father relationship but did have some other people involved that kind of uh spin this this story around and kind of lead it uh, where it is and again you will then at some point like i said get to to know uh, more about the history of the house and, and really really where the, the doom and gloom kind of came from and and, and uh, it will take its time to kind of set that up as well um, before you know bringing it back to the au pair and the two children and what's also ultimately at play for them and, and the end of the story here um, you know, it, it is, you know, I'm just trying to be as spoiler free as possible. I don't think that this one had maybe as many um, 
scary moments like I uh, like in the in the in the first one they had that tall guy um, obviously the crooked headed woman uh, I don't know that there were, were, were as many of those kind of moments here um, like I said you know the kids have their moments where they're kind of creepy but so do the other ones um, the, the the little girl in this one you know she has this thing with this doll um, you know, dolls creep people out. I, I don't think they overuse it. I think they used it just enough uh, just to get, you know, a little bit added something to, to kind of think of. Uh, that doll then expands into something else. Um, I don't want to give that away. That, that now that I think about it, uh, might have been the next creepiest thing is, is, is kind of, I guess, let's say that this doll kind of leads the way to something else to play with that that's there and, and uh, like I said I don't want to give it away but uh, let's just say you know a friend for the girl and, and it's just all kinds of creepiness with that friend and what happens happens there so uh, I would say yeah between the, the woman in the lake and, and this this friend that the girl eventually befriends um, you know I think that that's gonna give you your, your bulk of, of creepiness here um, you know, and then when you kind of get done with the story here, you know, it, it, it's not going to end there. It's going to continue on. You, and, um, you know, did they, they need to kind of go that little bit extra bit? You know, I, I don't know. You know, I'm, I'm being very vague because I don't want to spoil it. Um, you know, did they, did they need to, to kind of drag that on a little bit and kind of go in that direction? Maybe, maybe not. You know, I know just kind of like the first one, you know, with the, you know, you kind of want to escape the house, but always be drawn back to the house. And, you know, I don't know what it is. I guess it's a, you know, a thing with, with horror movies. They feel no matter how much you, you get away from a house, you got to go back. You know, you got to go back to every haunted house. You got to go back to Amityville Horror House. You got to go back to Freddy's house. You got to go back to Jason's cabin. You just, yeah, I always got to go back. You know, for <laughs> why? Somebody always got to go back. Um, but yeah, no matter how much you escape it, how much whatever... Uh, you know, you've got to go back. And, and I guess part of the reason they might do that is just to add a little bit more to the drama. Um, again, there's going to be a little bit of romance in this story. Um, you know, that love is obviously part of it. Love is kind of part of why things gone bad and here and there and with different individuals and reactions. Um, you're going to see that certain people are combined. There's definitely love in the story as well. And uh, obviously, that you know, that's always plays a, a role in, in going back as well um but yeah you know I, I think that that's kind of you know to maybe soften it and kind of drill in that that love piece I think that's why they, they kind of maybe ended it the way they ended you know I you know, drop a piano at them at the end and let's get some blood and guts and just end it there that's fine with me um but whatever it, it is what it is I, I see you know the elegance of the story and then Obviously, you see where the story picks up and how it's being told, and that's, you know, I guess they had to go full, full from beginning to end, um, but, you know, it is what it is. Um, uh, you know, with that, and, and not wanting to give away too much more of this, and and uh, I know that this one seems to have gotten good reviews, too, and, and um, people are raving about Midnight Mass, as far as I can tell. I can't wait to see it. It'll probably be a little while before I can get get into that unfortunately um, as much as I want to see it I'm ashamed to be behind on this this, this series um, but you know I, I you know I, I think they've got a nice formula they're doing it right um, I don't remember what I gave Hill House uh, Honda Hill uh, or Hill House Hill House it's Hill, I don't know what I'm I keep calling it I go back and forth um, with, with what I keep calling these, these stories. Hill House. It's Hill House. I probably said Haunted House the entire time. Um, I don't remember what I gave Hill House. I'm imagining Four Pools of Blood. Um, I will say, I, I don't know, there was just something about that story, and I guess maybe it, was, it just had you know more kids and more going on. The, I, I think I liked that one probably a little bit more. Um... So I'm hoping I did give that four, and I'm gonna give this one 3.5, and hopefully I'm not screwing it up and giving both 3.5. Um, but I guess just just to be clear, no matter what score I end up giving them, 
I, I will give Hill House a little bit of the nod. Um, just because, you know, like I said, there's just more kids, more to follow. Uh, maybe since it's the first one, you know, like I said, I felt it had a little bit more of the scares and, and a little bit more of them trying to use that. And maybe they didn't feel they needed to push it as much the second time around, even though they're there. They're there. Um, took me a minute to kind of remember that they're there, but they're there. Um, but I don't know, but it's just something to kind of, you know, with some of those characters and you kind of get, I feel like I was just a little bit more wrapped up in what was going on with their characters and, the, and the, mostly the kids. I mean, each one of them kind of has a story and a sad story. A lot of them were sad stories. Um, where this one, I don't think you feel as much for the kids and maybe that's part of it. Uh, you know, you kind of get the feeling that the kids are off from the beginning and uh, they don't really dive into a past where you completely, totally feel sorry for them. They, they do give you something to feel sorry for them, for sure. Uh, but maybe not as much, and maybe that's part of it. Um, I don't know. I just, I guess I, I, guess I just dove more a little bit and, and related into the, the, the story and the, the Hill House kids more than this one. Even though this one, it's also about the au pair, I mean, at the end of the day. So, um as well, so, you know, maybe I just didn't attach to her as well as some of the other things, but, you know, again, lots of similarities, if you liked one, I, I don't think, you know, there's no reason not to watch this one, if you liked Hill House, but you haven't watched Blind Manor yet, and you want to know, just watch it, and I'm going to go out on a boat and, and on a limb and then say, you know, Midnight Masses will probably be as enjoyable unless, you know, you're fatigued by it, and you know, some that happens to some people, I can see that, um, but I, I look forward to it. Um, so with that, um, again, I'm going to give this one 3.5 pools of blood, and hopefully I didn't screw it. Hopefully I <laughs> gave Hill House 4. Um, but anyway, I, th I think we're clear on that. Uh, rambling ending. Uh, uh, 3.5 pools of blood for Blight Manor out of 5. Uh, with that, horosgoyreviews.blogspot.com It's where you can find more of my reviews. Confused or not, as you are at this point. Uh, written reviews, video reviews are there as well. Um, definitely encourage you to check out the written ones uh, for, you know, stuff, Shutter, some of the newer stuff. Um, going way back if you're looking for something in particular. Um, but if you're just interested in the video reviews and me rambling, you know, hit subscribe, I ramble on, enjoy. Um, Twitter, Facebook information down below as well. Uh, reach out to me we can talk horror talk about my confusion here um, is something you want me to review not review something you think I should see something that you liked better than this that you want me to see um, we can talk about that maybe I can watch that um, comment section down below feel free to use that as well talk about the video talk about the show um, reach out to me with, with whatever feel free to do so there as well and, uh, yeah, I'm going to get out of here before I confuse myself anymore. So I will catch you on the next review, Horror Fans.